I used Chocola markers and made a stencil on my Cricut Explorer to make this flamingo. Keep watching to see how I do it. You are watching Melody Lane. With me you're gonna have a great crafting time. Hey guys, it's Melody Lane and I got some new Chocola markers. That's how I did the flamingo at the beginning of this video. And I used a stencil because I can't draw at all. So I'm gonna show you how these markers work. You can watch me coloring in the flamingo with my stencil and I have a coupon code and the link to get these is in the description below along with the coupon code to save 15%. Now let me show you how these work. So the link is in the description and the code is 15 off STR. That'll also be in the description with the link. I got the jumbo markers and the premium small markers. So they come in two sizes. So let's open these up. These also have metallic markers in them too. Let me show you how these work. When you first get them, you need to shake them up for like 30 seconds. And they come like this, with a white tip. And then this is black cardstock paper, and you hold this down. You don't need black cardstock paper for this. I'm just showing it on this because it's so bright. You hold that down until you can see ink coming through. So like you can pump it a few times or just hold it. There you go. So you can see the color coming through. And this is so awesome. Hello. Look how bright the yellow is on that black. The white is just as bright. I got some pink on this white one. So I was playing with the colors. See, I just keep going in the pink goes away. So I was using this on top of the pink one so it got on there but now just using it it goes away so it's not like my white one is ruined. See? There's no more pink in it and I can't see any more pink on there. So let me show you a little bit of these colors. It's the purple, the green I haven't done yet in this one but I did in the fat one. Here's the green one. I like these. This is what I used for the grass on my window. And the red I haven't used yet. The orange, the brown, the blue, and then the black. You can even see it on the black paper. Now, these are good on any non-porous material. And I think it also works good on paper. But it says it's good on hard, non-porous surfaces, windows, whiteboards, mirrors, plastic, chalkboards, and LED boards. And works great on my glass door. I think you could put this on cars or anything. These are fun to have at any time. You wanna write a note to someone in the bathroom mirror? This would be perfect. It wipes off with a wet cloth or Windex. And don't forget to use the 15% off code and the link in the description. Now watch me color in my flamingo with a stencil I made on my Cricut Explorer. So I cut a stencil out on my Cricut Explorer Air 2 and put it up on my window. And now I'm just outlining it with the jumbo pink Chocola marker going along all the edges.
Okay, now I'm almost to the end of the body here and I'm gonna add it a little more color. I want just a little more shading. So I'm going over it again. Now here I'm shading it right underneath where the feathers are and you'll see that as I take off the stencil because there is parts of the stencil there that won't be there when I take that off. So I'm just going over the parts where I've done again just to add a little bit more shading. So I'm pushing with the marker to put a little bit more of the ink here just to add a little bit more shading which is something I didn't think was possible with these markers, but it does turn out great in the end. And because I'm using a stencil, I don't have to worry about getting over the edges and things. So now I'm going to take the stencil off So now I'm putting the stencil of the legs back on. I don't want to cover up what I've already done. I don't want to put the adhesive vinyl on there and take off part of that so I'm cutting it so it fits perfectly. I could have done this all in one stencil but I made it too big for the 12 by 24 mat so I did it in different pieces with the body and the legs and then I add the beak afterwards also. Okay, now I'm just wiping around some of the edges I got underneath because I didn't put the stencil on really well. So I'm just wiping that off with my finger. Okay, so now I added grass with the chalk markers. I think that kind of finishes it off. Isn't she pretty? And when I decide I don't want her anymore, I can just clean my window. All right guys, thank you so much for watching. 
Here's a shout out to a few of the people who support me on Patreon. Ellen, Carla, Leanne, Nadine, Shannon, Cindy, Cindy, Donna, Jeannie, Donna, Kim, Ebony, Linda, Venice, Ashruta, Twyla, Stacy, Audra, Claudia, Teresa, Lucy, Charlotte, Carol, Diane, Marjorie, Diane, Nancy, Donna, Carla, Betty, Deborah, Mouse Baby, Tiffany, Colleen, Richanda, Jane, Sean, Annette, Kathy, Noel, Susan, Bonita, Tammy, Melissa, Deidre, Trisha, Penny, Connie, Catherine, Nancy, Sherry, Tammy, Connie, Valerie, Mandy, Annette, Marnie, Angelica, Nettie, Connie, Sharon, Selvi, Carol, Sue, Karen, Deborah, Audra, Yvonne, Debbie, Jacqueline, Linda, Kelly, Gloria, Marcia, Tony, Dolita, Goldie Ann, Linda, Valerie, Wheat, Sherry, Barbara, Jean, Candy, Grace, Sandra, Jackie, Heather, Chrissy, Penny, Allison, Kathleen, Belinda, and Mona. Thanks, guys. You are watching Melody Lane. With me, you're gonna have a great crafting time.